Hi guys. Uh, yeah, another vape. Um, I had stopped collecting them. I've got far more than I need. But last week I actually had a request. Could I do another vape teardown video? Uh, what they really wanted me to do is one of those big fat ones that looks like a, a small cup. Um, but I've done teardowns of those anyway. So I pointed them at the video that I'd done. I also said that I don't see vape vapes laying around very much now. And this is the first one I've seen for probably about a week or more. I mean, I'm not looking for them anyway, but this one happens to be next to the car when I parked and I got out of the car. So, Vaporesso. Um, that is the mouthpiece that goes on there. I think that goes inside there, and that's another one that was laying around. I have to wash my hands after I do this, but uh, there's nothing particularly difficult about the teardown on this one, as far as I know. This end detaches anyway, and I think it has a little magnet in it. Yeah, I had somebody telling me they had magnets in them a long time ago, and all the ones that I tested didn't. But I kept my eyes open, and I did actually find some of these. And they do have small magnets in them, which is why it's attracted. So I will take the magnets out of them. They're worth having. Uh, the rest of it's not worth having, for me anyway. This is actually the heater element, I think. So I think those are, well, they are definitely battery contacts there to put power through to this bit. I suppose we could pull one apart and have a look. Come on. You want to come apart. You really do. You don't want to be awkward. The answer is yes, we do want to be awkward. We want you to stab you in your fingers while you try and do it. There we go. There. Baked liquid. Oh, well, there's the magnets getting hold of that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end up getting liquid on my fingers. Right, that's the two wires that um, the coil, or, oh, yeah, those are the two wires that are attached to the coil. The coil heats up, heats up the liquid as you're drawing it through and turns it into vapour. Yeah. Mm, let's do that one more. Just so we can get the magnets out. I don't know where the magnets are in there. Well, it's those. It's just there. Silver bits. There we are. So, a useful little neodymium magnet. I'll do the others later. So, how do we get the rest of this out? Looks like it goes up this way. Clearly, this is a rechargeable one, USB-C. Can we push it up? No, don't want to push up. Obviously, there's two more magnets just there. You might end up having to peel this apart. 
Well, it might come. When I say peel, I mean split the metal case. Okay. Uh, is that going to pull out? That doesn't want to come out easily. There's little metal pins in there. Let's go a bit close up. Yeah, little metal pins. All right, we have progress now. We've managed to get those metal pins out of their little holes. Now, it looks like it's gonna come out. Oh, nice little battery in there. Three watt hours, thousand milliamp. Well, you can read that yourself if I hold it in focus. And then say a couple of magnets on the end there. Nice little circuit board there. Is that for lift out if we pull it gently? Yeah. That's a rubber O-ring. Captain tape. This is a nice little module. But yeah, that's going to lift up. There we go. So that's your USB-C connector. Looks like we've got an LED on there. That's the sensor. When you suck, that one detects you sucking. and sends power to the, in this case, where was it? To the heater. And it does that by those two pins, which make contact with those two pins. And then on the inside there, it was connected to those two wires. Oh, they're actually spring-loaded. I wonder if we can pop it out.
I'll get some bigger cutters. That's the two that go to there eventually. Hmm. I'll just nip them off for now. Because we want to try and get those magnets out as well. I like this one. It's nice modular. Construction. So there's another little ma magnet. There we go. So that was a, it's got sort of a V on it there. And vapor. Vaporesso. Oh, there's some details in there. Yeah, that's nicely made, that one. And we've got some little mag uh, neo neodymium magnets. And a nice little battery. which may or may not take charge, depending on how flat it is. At this moment... Three point five volts. Three point seven is the nominally charged voltage. They go up to four point two fully charged. And if they're down below sort of 3.3, .3, or certainly down below 3, then they're probably not worth trying to save. But that one seems okay. And I like that shape. And for those people who like to know the numbers, if we can come back into focus, please, yeah. So, 11, 20, 38. Right, that'll do. I'll clean up now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.